today's video, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to do to boost your FPS in 2024, and this will work for Valorant, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, and whatever other game you play. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. After that we're going to open up our task manager from our search bar. Open this up and find the details tab from here. You're gonna wanna scroll down until you see Valorant. Win 60 for shipping in Valorant, right click on them. You'll set priority to high. Change priority, and then do that to Valorant. X as well. Once you've done that, we're going to go to the Startup tab. And we're going to disable all of these options. So that none of these are running, when our PC starts up, to cause any sort of CPU usage in the background. Obviously you're gonna keep Vanguard on. But other than that, you basically can disable everything. So, so now, now go, go to, to my website, website. I, give I give link in the link description, description. Download, download the Valorant, Valorant FPS, FPS boost, boost pack from here, from here and, and follow me. me. We have a bunch of very useful registry tweaks, which I always link you know as overall quick enhancement, because after each and every single winner's update, you should actually disable all of these services. We have something like driver searching, file, history services, power fraudling, disable energy estimation, just simply all of these processes, which are going to slow down our PC. And the worst part about it is, they're all getting always re-enabled after each and every single Windows update. So, you gotta do this consistently. You know, just simply click onto it, edit to your registry, and then click through all of them to make sure that they're applied or something like high priority which is gone put your fortnite onto high priority mode consistently and then we already done here after downloading and installation you here. will find out this kind of interface of power control now on the very first step here you can check out all the details my system power point status right now the processor frequency right now is 3.46 gigahertz and you can also check it out here only six or five cores are using from 16 so now, we are going to utilize all the cores and thread off of a CPU for the highest performance using the power control. But you need to go for CPU settings for power profile and set it onto the Brixham highest performance. So, once you enable you can the check settings, on here or Hertz is still the same. But here 16 of 16 cores are active right and now. And this is giving us the best performance. Why are we gaming? Now go for the next setting, which is the plug This is the best settings for laptop. You need to always set it onto the off. Go for on battery and also set it onto the After off. After applying it hit on the apply button, and this will apply your settings and your power control now. You need to go forward with some highest performance. Profile check mark here on spokes. Check mark onto the show opting settings notification. And also check mark onto the show power settings and windows power settings. As you can see this app shows you everything. The GPU temp clock the power. GPU fast speed and the memory clock. So, you want to go first onto the home tab in here. Make sure that the power target is on 100%. Then you want to go ahead and go in GPU fan speed. This is really important. And you're actually gonna see it in your PC. Every time you hire it your fans are gonna go faster. So here, you want to make sure to put it about 65 to 70% to get the lower GP temperature. The lower your GPTM temperature is, the higher FPS is gonna be, and the less FPS subs you're gonna. So make sure this is 65 to 70%. Now once you're done here, you want to go and go scroll down. You might not see them at first, but you want scroll down to the bottom man. See the GPU temp target and as you see, I have it here on 75 degrees and I have it on minus 8. So it was 83 before and I change it to 75. You want to make sure that it is 75 or less to get the highest FP as possible and lowest input delay in your game as the higher your GPU temp is. The more FPS structure you're gonna go, you want to make sure this or 75 degrees or lower. That is why I have it on 75, and you can even put it down to 70. That might work your fans a lot, so you don't want to overwork them, but just put it on 75 degrees and you'll be. Now for framework target, I have it on 500 FPS. As a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the GR Booster, which you can trade for absolutely with the free. link in description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement. Of. Over 100% I've been using this for any game I'm Switch. playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it, it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also showing you, you the connection between your PC 
PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore, as mentioned, make sure check it out with the link in description. So for a Valorant settings, we are going to make sure our display mode is on. Full screen, not windowed. Full screen or windowed. And then we are going to turn our resolution all the way down to the lowest rise of 1 to 4 by 768. This will make it so that your graphics card has less pixels to process and will actually make your FPS slightly better. After that, if you do have the option, turn the video reflex lowland C to on or on, plus boost if available. So go to your graphics quality settings and make sure multi-threaded rendering is set to on. And then material quality, we're going to set to low. Our texture quality, we're gonna set to low. Our detail quality will be set to low. Our UI quality will be low. Digit will put on off and vsync off as well. This can be good if you don't really get that many FPS. And you have a higher hertz monitor. You can turn this on it will cause input delay though. Anti-alias and return to known. Antistropic filtering 1x. Improve clarity off. Experimental sharpening off for bloom. If you want your game to be more visually appealing, have this on, but if you want FPS, turn this off same with distortion. Turn this off and cast shadows turn this off as well. Go back to your search bar and type in notifications. You're going to open up this tab and turn off all of your notifications. These can pop up in the background and actually cause your PC to lag. Right after that, you are gonna go back to our search bar and type in background apps. We're gonna open up this tab right here. And we are going to either manually turn off all of these apps running in the background or you can just click the top button right here and turn it so none of these apps are running in the background using up your CPU usage at all. Right after that, we're going to type in graphic settings into our search bar open this tab up and turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You're gonna need to restart your PC to apply these changes, but we'll work on that after after that. Click browse and go to your local disk with Valorant on it. Go to the ride games folder, then go to Valorant live and then find Valorant. X add this right here and then go to the options. You're going to select this and change it to high performance right here and then click browse again. Go to the right games folder, then go to right client and find right client services. From here click options again, and then select this and switch it to high performance, and then click save. Thank you guys so much for if watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions, peace out.